The only date in the Constitution is January 20th. So we have more than enough time to right the wrong of this fraudulent election result and certify Donald Trump as the winner of the election. As we speak today, an alternate slate of electors in the contested states is going to vote, and we're going to send those results up to Congress. This will ensure that all of our legal remedies remain open. That means that if we win these cases in the courts, that we can direct that the alternate slate of electors be certified. Nothing and no one will be able to stop them. The Senate seats are truly the last line of defense. Now, I must preface that by saying because they'll say, he just conceded. No, no, I don't think so. So, Kelly, if I might add, I think we're going to win, in which case we'll be the last line of defense. It's called veto, 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 veto. A lot of that at the end was just a repeating of their general strategy, which is uh, we lost the vote. So we want the states or Congress to just say Trump is the winner no mm -hmm. matter what. It's fundamentally anti-democratic, but we're past that now. Um, the alternate slate of electors, I don't, I don't know what that is. Like I know that we've, that that's a strategy, that they just choose random people and say that they're the official electors when they're not. I guess, yeah. I guess that's their legal strategy going forward. It's just incredible to hear Stephen Miller speak because even Trump speaks with a certain amount of irony and like bombast. And Stephen Miller is just this locked in little snot nosed kid who's like, this is, this is going to happen and you're gonna let me do it. Like it is. Yeah. And and you realize that he like he is the voice in Trump's head, and he's the only one who hasn't been fired or even been on thin ice with Donald Trump. And he is like his little um, he's like the devil on his shoulder. I mean, Trump doesn't need one. He's all devil. He's mostly devil and you know Big Mac sauce. But like um, like it is just so striking to hear somebody with zero irony or zero understanding of like the fact that their words are do not actually. They're not in, you're not speaking in reality, buddy. It's just too consequential. Like it could mean that elections fundamentally don't matter, that the vote, I mean, even more than they already do. Like your vote already is only sort of second hand of concern anyway, thanks to the Electoral College. But now even that doesn't matter. Um, and it's also a reminder that the way that they're writing this out, like we've re we've now reached the period where it's gone on long enough. It's infested enough actual elected Republicans, regular Republican voters, right wing media, alternative and even more insane right wing media that Democrats just don't get to win narrow victories in the future. That's just, it's not going to work. It, like Trump mm -hmm. got destroyed and they're fighting it to the bitter end. So mm -hmm. just bear that in mind. If we ever have a close race in the future, that's gonna be fun.